4.4, which is the principle of moments. And the principle of moments is actually based upon the distributive property, which we already talked about for cross products. And so if we say that there's some resultant vector fr equal to f1 plus f2, um, a similar vector to that that we talked about, you know, adding together components, I could also write that fr resultant force is equal to um, f sub x plus f sub y. Right, the only difference between these two equations in the top equation up here, f1 and f2 don't have to be perpendicular. They're just simply two vectors in space. Uh, this is the more general form, but we're going to focus here on the components because that's the way that we often use this principle. And so if we have component, an f component, or excuse me, an x component and a y component, and then I take the cross product of both sides of this equation. So I take an r cross. Why I wrote R sub X. R, R vector cross FR. Knowing that we're going to use this distributive property, we can say this is going to be equal to um, R cross FX plus R cross FY. So in words, we can write that the moment of a force and in this case I'm talking about F sub R, the force itself, about a point is equal to the sum of the moments of its components. So the moment of a force, we're talking about force talking about is FR, our kind of resultant force, or total force, about a point, just because we always take a moment about a point is equal to the sum of the moments of its components. And so it doesn't matter if we get the resultant force first and then take R cross with that, or if we take um, the, the moments of its two components. Now when I look at these two components, knowing that the cross product always gives me the perpendicular, you know, one thing perpendicular to another, if I'm crossing a full R vector with Fx, what's the only part of R that will give me a non-zero cross product with fx? The x or the y? The y, right? Because the y is perpendicular to it. So this ends up being only the y component. And then by the same token here, if I cross you know, any part of any vector, any 2D vector with fy, the only part that will be perpendicular to it, hence that will actually give me a non-zero value, will be the x. And so what this is basically saying is that if I just break things into components, and then I take the moments of each component pair that's non-zero, I end up with the same answers if I took the overall cross product. Okay, and so they call this a principle of moments. Um, it's also called Varignon's theorem, which our book doesn't use that term as much as other books. But um, I might dress up as Varignon some year for Halloween, and people are like Voldemort, I'm like no Varignon, I'm a mathematician. Um, 